Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel, that is the R in the RK Stumbling Bear, and I am a reader and a writer. And I am here today to talk about my rankings for the Hugo novels. To start off, I have to be honest, I did not finish all of the books of the novels but I at least tried all of them. I still rank the books that I hadn't finished based off of what I had read so far. So those might be a little bit unpopular. But coming in at number six, I have Project Hail Mary. I enjoyed this book for what it was. It took me a long time to get into it. Once we met Rocky, I was pretty solid going, okay, I'm curious of what happens not my favorite book of the year. It was okay, which is why I have it as number six. Then for number five, I have She Who Became the Sun by Shelley Parker Chan. This is one of the ones that I did not finish. I kind of gave it a soft DNF because the writing just wasn't working for me, but I realized that it worked for a lot of people because I've heard a lot of people raving about it. From what I had read that it was better than Project Hail Mary because even the little bit that I read, I still felt more positive toward it than I did at Project Hail Mary at the same point. And number four, I have The Galaxy and the Ground Within by Becky Chambers. Also enjoyed this. It was interesting. That's really all I have to say about it though. It didn't blow me away, but I did enjoy the themes of community. I have a full review for this, so I'm going to link that in the cards if you want to hear my full thoughts. And number three, I have A Master of Jin by P. Jelly Clark. I really love his world building for this story. Loved the two novellas that came before. This story fell a little bit flat for me, mostly because of how obvious the villain was and how the main character totally missed it. That for me just felt completely off. But again, I think I have a full review for this, so I'm going to link that as well. And coming in number two, I have A Desolation Called Peace. This is the sequel to A Memory Called Empire, and this is a first contact story with aliens. So you still have the same kind of world environment as the first one, but where the first one is more like an espionage science fiction story. This is alien first contact, and so it was kind of like a turn, a right turn for me. I liked it, but I feel like it set up some questions for some things that I never got resolved. And then coming in at number one is another book that I have not finished, and that is Light from Uncommon Stars, but every time I pick this up to read it, it's so easy to read and I'm just loving it. And if you're like, well, why are you loving it and you haven't finished it? because I've been prioritizing other books ahead of it. That's why. But what I've read so far, I have absolutely loved. And so I nominated it for, not for first place. Simple. That's, that's what it was. 